Today we're giving a site tour to the University of Kent Human Geography students. We're giving them an understanding of the project, its history, its development, how it came to look the way it is, and some of the impacts and the mitigations we're building into the project. Human geography is a, a very interdisciplinary field. It tries to combine human activity with nature and space and the environment, the economy and so forth. What we're planning to do is to actually work with the human geography program in Kent and the LTC to develop capacity to actually both engage with the project in placements in other ways but also to develop people who are able to later on actually work on the project and be able to contribute to the human environmental perspectives of how the project actually deals mainly with local communities so that includes community engagement that includes ways of actually understanding the impact of a project like this mainly in the construction phases of the next few years but also later on on how the local population actually is able to both benefit but also adapt to these major changes. Our attempts across it is good because it provides a lot of future jobs, it, like, it provides a good landmark for future development and a good course within British history. Um, it's also good to use as a case example, uh, look at it in depth and see how we personally think we could improve on it and it's all about evolving and taking the next further steps and urban regeneration. It's about trying to regenerate local areas and trying to plan around the humans and the wildlife appropriately. Yeah, coming here and speaking to a few people who seem to know a lot about uh, environmental effects really helps with stereotypes of uh, stereotypes of me thinking that people don't know as much about the environment and just build a bridge. It seems like people are thinking it through and taking the right measures to stop flooding and prevent uh, other things going wrong and losing biodiversity. So that's been that's been really nice to see that people are thinking about it a bit more. I think this tour is a real eye opener for the students. It really gets them to engage with the local environment, to understand the complexity of delivering a project like this, to understand how different components in the landscape and in the kind of spatial side have to change, but also have to keep and preserve what actually is most important and I think the LTC is trying to do that as best it can and I think the students are appreciating that but also appreciating the level of complexity, the level of investment that has to go in a project like this to actually both try to compensate and benefit the local population but also to serve the larger UK economy and I think in many ways this is what they're trying to do here. Obviously some challenges are related to that and students being on site are able to understand that in a much better, much more hands-on perspective. <laughs>